More than a dozen cats rescued from the storm zone in the south are ready for adoption today here in the city, just hours after arriving. Several dogs also made a pit stop as they venture up north toward more shelters. And uh, we've got the story tonight from Christy Kalishian. She is in Soho. Elizabeth is excited for her new forever home. All she needs to do is pass her intake exam and she's ready for adoption. It was a long 14 hour trip from Hurricane Helene impacted Georgia for her and 19 other cats. This is actual life saving happening. 10 dogs who were evacuated from Florida ahead of Hurricane Milton also arrived to Best Friends Animal Society in Soho on Thursday morning for a quick walk before they headed up to shelters in Massachusetts. They were a little bit more timid than I would say the cats are. These dogs felt more at peace now that they are in a calmer environment who's not struck by, by a natural disaster. The shelters they came from are dealing with power outages and a shortage of supplies to care for the animals. After enduring back-to-back -back hurricanes, Helene and Milton, there's a sense of urgency with getting these feline friends adopted here in the city. The more that we're able to get pets adopted and fostered anywhere in the country, especially here in New York City, the more we can take pets out of harm's way, out of the affected hurricane areas. Best Friends Animal Society is also waiving all adoption fees for these rescued cats and kittens through the weekend. They are up to date on vaccines, they are spayed and neutered, and they are microchipped. If you are adopting one cat or if you're adopting 10 cats, you're still allowing us that space to open those kennels up so we can save more lives. So far, there are 10 to 20 dogs from hurricane impacted areas on the shelter's list for possible intake next week. That number could lessen or grow by then. In Soho, Christy Kalishian, CBS News, New York.